Thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing case three of three of our three case uh, select soccer 2013 break. This is the uh, Ronaldo jersey giveaway right now. Mario Stamfer and the Netherlands are looking good at 99 of 299. They are the leader, and that can only be tied. It cannot be beat. Let me see it. 99 of 299 can only be tied, can't be beat, but hopefully for one of you guys you can tie him uh all right i am soccer breakers fc if interested in joining my breaks join our facebook group soccer breakers fc all breaks are live on youtube simply search soccer breakers fc check us out on our website www.soccerbreakersfc.com also uh hashtag soccer breakers on instagram is that what it is? Hashtag? Is that right? Uh, no. Or? Well, although I do... That's that whole thing with hashtag. Hashtags is like a way that you can like search something. Uh, you know, I'll put like uh, hashtag Soccer Breakers FC on our Soccer Breakers post, but it's yeah. at Soccer Breakers is okay. the Instagram. Uh, at Soccer Breakers. I'm sure if you type in Soccer Breakers, it'll pop up when yeah. you put FC or not. It's true. I believe we're the only Soccer Breakers... Well, there are other like soccer breaks, this and that. But, yeah, as far as breakers, I think it's just the name Soccer Breakers. Yeah. I think we're the only one that has that one. All right, uh, go ahead, Mr. Uh, Alex, take over there for me. And uh, I'll be back, guys. I'm going to update Eminence right now, and I'll be right back uh, once Alex has cracked open a few boxes. What's going on, guys? Let's get cracking. That sounds like a great sign, Adam. Yeah, I'd love to see LAFC. I'm not going to say I don't watch MLS at all. I watch, you know, here and there a little bit. I watched the playoffs last year for sure. Um, you know, I follow it somewhat. I feel like it's a league that I definitely have been wanting to get more into, though. Yeah, I really appreciate that. What leagues do you guys like to watch? Like, generally? I mostly stick to the Premier League, but occasionally I'll watch, like, at least, you know, the Champions League and Europa Cups, and, you know, occasionally I'll watch another league, like. I'm trying to figure out who to root for in the MLS. When I was up in Santa Cruz, I was, uh, I was watching San Jose a little bit, but obviously not very good. EPL. Watch much outside the game, sometimes I catch other games in the league. I feel that. Are you supporting the Bundesliga, Adam? Oh, and also Brad, who's your team in the EPO? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. You, you literally cannot be a San Jose fan. I tried. I tried. Uh, 
I guess I'm glad I'm not. Man City. All right. Man, they're in that tight race with Liverpool right now. I think, are they ahead right now? It's 2006. All right. Yeah, I think that's a... Yeah, City's had some really great teams. Is it? Pretty much always in championship contention. Who did City draw in uh, Dortmund? Alright. Yeah, I like Dortmund a lot. I think of the Bundesliga teams, that's probably the team I like the most. Who's leading with two points, but City has a game in hand. Alright. It's tight. I know the race for fourth place is pretty close as well. Uh, I know Chelsea's been slipping a little bit, but... Yeah, between four, five, and six, I know it's also like... Tottenham. Uh, Tottenham fans. Cross town rivals. Well, not even cross town, I think. I forget what region of London Tottenham's in. I jumped my coach as a kid. Cool. Is the Bundesliga close, or is Byron pretty much running away with it again this year? Let's see, drew them with the... Oh, so this is it, is it City Liverpool then? In the Champions League? Or they drew Tottenham. That should be a good matchup. Oh, yeah, I did see that earlier today. That, yeah, that should be a good matchup. Tottenham v City. I'm looking forward to that. I'm pretty ready for those quarterfinals. Some good matchups, I know. Who's Barca playing again? If you guys remember. I'll be honest. I do. I haven't followed the Champions League, but I do always follow it a little bit closer when uh, Chelsea's involved. Man U, that's the matchup. Yeah, that'll be close. I still can't believe Man U escaped past the PSG. That was a one hell of a comeback. They really just look like a whole different team since Mourinho left. What uh, international teams do you guys support? Oh, that is weird. Are we back now?
Yeah, they do. <laughs> they really do. Um, I was really hoping Sari would be the answer, but it doesn't seem to be that way. We'll see. If they win the Europa, I think they'll still get that Champions Rebirth at least. Um, so that'll help. But yeah, they look like they've been out of sorts this year. That'll help. That'll do it. Yeah, I, uh, that's like how I really became a Chelsea fan was, uh, well, my dad's really good friend was a team dentist for Chelsea, and then uh, he got us in to them uh, right around, like, the 2010s, so, like, right before they went on that Champions League run. So, uh, yeah, we were really, that really got us hooked. Oh, for sure. That's good. Yeah, because we were having some trouble earlier. Uh, we had to, That's why we ended up switching to my dad's computer to stream this, because uh, we must have tried like two or three laptops right at the top of the show. That we were having trouble with our streaming. So yeah, let, it, let me know if it goes down at all, but so far so good. Celtic, yeah, they do have sick jerseys. I think they got a, they have an American right now too on loan, uh, Timothy Wea. He's been playing pretty well. Speaking of a uh, Celtic, what'd you guys do for St. Patty's Day? Anything special? Yeah, yeah, this is a fun. <laughs> That's the thing about soccer is like you know you associate a player with a club, but like half these guys are out on loan. Especially the youngsters. Work 16 hours, jeez. Yeah, that's a busy day. I remember that night, or the night before I stayed up all night sorting. Or at least like until like 5 or 6 in the morning, uh, specifically so I could go out the next night on uh, St. Patrick's Day. It's worth it, I think. <laughs> the pub for a bit St. Patty's ridiculous it honestly is uh, honestly like most of the time I enjoy just kind of like spending it in uh, with friends and stuff but this year I decided to go out yeah it does really get overpacked uh, most places Thankfully, I have a friend who kind of lives downtown, so I can just park at his place. Otherwise, like, even just finding parking would have taken, like, half an hour to an hour. Yeah, thankfully, it came with a plan this year. I remember the last year, St. Patrick's Day was kind of a mess. Or, you know, not as fun. Oh, 8.30 a.m., jeez. Where are you from, by the way, Adam? For all you guys, I guess. Getting to know all you guys still. This is only like my, uh, I think, third or fourth break so far. <laughs> green eggs and ham and green beer. Yeah. Oh, it's like a pint of Guinness. A little whiskey. 
The green beer is fun though. You kinda gotta do it every now and then. But yeah, I prefer just drinking a little dinner. <laughs> oh man, that sounds really tacky. <laughs> That's funny though. Actually, you know, turtle races. That's that's a, that sounds like a scene. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, thankfully. San Diego has so many breweries that like I think they get spread out at least a little bit and you don't see too too much of that kind of like St. Patrick's Day craziness, but yeah, it's like a pretty pack. Definitely never seen a turtle race or <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's why I tend to just do the, you know, Irish beer over the green dyed beer. You know what? I've never actually been out to the Tipsy Crow, uh, especially like on days like uh, like St. Patrick's Day. I try, I tend to avoid the gas lamp because, like, as much as I do like it out there, those days it's gonna get crazy. Uh, so like, I'll go out to like, I think I went out to like. Uh, Mission Hills area, Hill Crest sort of. I've heard good things about the Tipsy Crow for sure. This one actually, this one. That's crazy. I, yeah, I didn't even know about the drink exchange. I'll look into that. That sounds like a really good time, actually. What beers would you guys recommend as well? I feel like, uh, you know, I've got like kind of a feel for like maybe like the San Diego beer scene, but I feel like I'm always discovering new stuff. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. Sounds chaotic. And that's like, uh, that's here in San Diego? It's a tipsy crow? I'll look into that. That sounds like, that sounds like a good time. I like, uh, I've been drinking a lot of, like, there's a local brewery here called Novo Brazil, and they do a mango IPA. It's really good. Uh, sometimes I'll do like, occasionally I'll do like Kona or like Stone. It really does taste like mango, yeah. It's sweet, like it's sweet, but it's like hoppy, like it's got, you know, because it is still an IPA, but it's like pretty light. No, but I could get some. I'm actually going tomorrow uh, for, I got like a meeting over there uh, with the... No, no, yeah, no, that was, oh, that was the Stone uh, Mango Express that I had in the fridge, yeah, we finished that one, but, yeah, the Novo one from, uh, for the, yeah, Novo Mango IPA is my favorite. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've kind of become an IPA junkie too. I feel like uh, yeah, San Diego's beer scene's really like emerged in the last like four or five years. Especially down here in Chula Vista, it used to be like you know there was no breweries, and it went from like no breweries to like literally on every corner in the last like year or two. A couple breweries here in Pittsburgh that are great. Cool. Do you have any uh, you recommend, Brett? Same for you, Randy. There's Tank 7 Farmhouse Ale. Boulevard in Kansas City. I'll check that out. I think so. Tank 7. Anderson Valley. I've heard about Anderson Valley, actually. I remember they'd always have that on tap when I was up in uh, Santa Cruz. I think I might have tried it, actually. Or at least that one of their beers. I've actually never tried a Russian River either. I almost certainly did. Oh, I've tried East End. I do love Stone Brewing as well. I actually, uh, I think, yeah, I got, pl I'm planning to go actually to Stone Brewery down here, uh, probably in a couple weeks from now. We're back to probably a couple months from my birthday. I think that's the spot that we're, uh, we're probably going to do all that at. Not after. I remember seeing it on tap at least once or twice on the rotating tap. Because uh, uh, there was one place in downtown SC that... Uh, it was like one of those tap houses where you get to kind of try a little bit of everything. That's crazy. I didn't know it was like that. Like highly sought after. <laughs> That's awesome. It's always the best when uh, breweries start popping up all around like your neighborhood and stuff. I tried this local uh, novelty kind of whiskey the other day uh, at this like food festival. It was a uh, peanut butter flavored. I forget what it was called. That was crazy good. I know they've been doing a lot of peanut butter flavored beers and stuff lately too. P and W. Like I think like Belching Beaver too. Yeah, Pacific Northwest. Yeah, it's really yeah, it's definitely like one of the main hotspots for beer. I've been wanting to take a trip up to the Pacific Northwest sometime. 
Uh, I got a friend up in Vancouver, and he's been telling me to make it up there. But I figure if I'm going to do that, I'll probably, like, do the whole, like, Portland, Washington to Vancouver thing. One day. Yeah, it's crazy. That's kind of how San Diego's been, honestly. Like, I don't think we really had that much of a beer scene until about, like, 10, 15 years ago. And I can't really say I haven't been drinking beer that long, but... Uh, from what I've been able to, like, just the way I've seen the city change and stuff. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, my, uh, my friend actually went to college up in Portland. I never got to visit him or anything, but he said that, yeah, it was like, you know, definitely a little oversaturated. Very hipstery. It's also like a real cool sports city from what I've heard. There's microbrews all over the place, Kev. I dig it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing down here too. That sounds really fun. I could get into that, like beer touring. I've gotten into like wine drinking a lot lately. Uh, like we got Valle down here in Mexico, like Valle de Guadalupe, probably like within driving distance, maybe like an hour or two away. Uh, we've been doing a lot of those like kind of wine tour type things. But I've been wanting to do like more like beer tours because I, you know, I'm more of a beer drinker myself. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely in the IPAs. That sounds beautiful. Um, that, that, yeah. <laughs> I definitely have to like see what's up in Oregon one of these days. It's just the Pacific Northwest in general. What do you like, Kev? What do you like to drink? Are you more of like, because honestly, like, I can get down with a cheap beer too. <laughs> like, I mean, I was definitely on a budget in college. <laughs> I feel that. I kind of got used to them for a while. I get that. It's definitely an acquired taste, but yeah, I, I love them now for sure. <laughs> I can always get down for a stout. Honestly, like I dig like Murphy's, the Guinness, the Stella guy. Yeah, it's chill. Stella's, Stella's decent. I mean, as far as light beers go and stuff. I like Mexican beers too. Honestly, like, I can always like I'm always down for like a michelada. I'm already like thinking head <laughs> to Mexico a little bit. I'm looking forward to that. Stein Lager Pure. I'll keep that in mind. Is it like a... What's it like? Is it like a kind of lighter, heavier, like lager, ale?
Oh, cool. I dig a foreign import. Personally, I think my favorite beers that I've ever had have always been like Belgian imports. Um, I couldn't name like a brand or anything. I don't know them well enough, but can't buy a stuff. That sounds incredible. <laughs> Uh, do you know what brand makes the campfire stuff by any chance? Because I, I definitely want to taste that. That sounds amazing. Cool, cool. High water brewing, all right. I'll look out for that. I know we got pretty good stuff. Man, you guys are making me thirsty. <laughs> Take it off, I'm gonna have to get up on the local breweries or something. Um, one, two, three, four, five, ten. Mm -hmm. space on you. Keep them in frame.
Yeah, we did think it was crazy. To be honest, yeah, a hundred percent. We thought it was, we thought it was insane. <laughs> Especially because I was away at school, so I didn't really like fully understand, like you know, like the way that it was growing and stuff. Um, yeah, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> it was a, but you know, we kept around to it. Obviously, you know, joined the business and all that. But yeah, the first like couple months, we were very confused about like. <laughs> what breaking even was and you know like how viable it was is like you know alternate career path and stuff it was funny watching it grow too because like you know obviously my dad was like a collector before you know they started breaking uh, and the collection grew pretty fast as well and then i remember just like you know that world that world cup and then prism dropping like the 2014 one really was like you know the start of it all That's a good deal. I'm uh I'm opening the last box. Sure thing. Sorry guys, I got stuck uh, updating everything and finally got the Eminence uh, serial number random set up. We had a really lovely so, conversation about beer and now I'm very thirsty. I saw that. Which one is that? That's for that one there, right? So mm -hmm. we can start on these. Alright, let's fly through these. Alright, you can go there. I'm going to start with the kids' hip. All right, Robin Van Persie to 75, 37 of 75. Funes Mori, 7 of 75, Otamendi. Rashford, Castore. There's a Joe, Hart, Long. Krishowiak, uh, 142 of 149. Yeah, maybe you just clean up for now. And then uh, Mbolo. How about Valerie Karpin, 75 of 75 for Russia. Valerie Karpin, Neymar. Um, a Tweety Bird to 299. There's Cavani. Berkey. 24 of 30. The pie. Uh, Cavani. Dimitri Payet. Giroud. Gotze. Care box. 117 of 199. Suarez, Stone. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to do a uh, select black gold and eminence after this, guys. So we got a lot to do. Torres, 
39 of 60, Renato Sanchez. There's Hummels. There's Neymar. Plushkowski. To 30, we got Robin Van Persie. Nice one there for the Netherlands. 20 of 30. Netherlands killing it. Uh, there's uh, Giacchirini. Good luck, guys. Let's hope it's another Darlington Nagbe. 13 of 125, USA. Hit him in last case, too. Ronaldo. There's uh, Blaszczykowski. Zeko, 17 of 30. Mandzukic, uh, 9 of 30. Uh, Ronaldo, Gusev, there's Boric, Pastore, Kurt Zuma, 114 of 199 for France, Kurt Zuma, Emerging Star Autograph, uh, Vargas, We got Cavani to 75, 27 of 75. That is Royce. Uh, to 30, Daniel Sturridge, 10 of 30. Mura, Dani Alves, there's Cavani, Vidal. So how you guys doing tonight? Neymar. Uh, Sigthorsen, 168 of 249. Uh, De Bruyne. Buffon. Uh, to 299, Funes Mori. That wasn't, I should announce the number, 43. Hummels, there's a Suarez, Alba, Neuer, Huntelar, 24 of 199, Fabianski, 92 of 199, Fabianski. Uh, Priskin, Iniesta, Sanchez, James Rodriguez, Perisic, Donnarumma, 5 of 30, tie-dye. Oh, uh, really? Are you kidding me? Hopefully that's not our case hit, but that's not looking good. 42 of 60, Anthony Martial. Kind of sucks. I do not want to see him. Hummels, Iniesta to 125, 111 of 125. Probably the case hit. I know, that kind of sucks. We did have a double in the first case, 225 of 249 a couple days ago. We hit uh, Ronaldo and him in the same case. Nice one there. Uh, Clint Dempsey. Clint Dempsey, National Pride for the USA Gold. Anyway, USA has had a pretty good break. Pulisic auto, a lot of Nagbe autos, 5 of 10, Clint Dempsey, at least relative to the others. USA has done well.
that's it for there. Let's move these over here. Thomas Mueller, Courtois, 54 of 299, Zoltan Guerra, uh, Vertonghen, Martial, Mueller, 4 of 30, Buffon and De Rossi, or Rossi, sorry, not De Rossi, Vertonghen, Harry Kane to 199. Okay, I should keep a track on that. Uh, see how we're doing on our filler. Well, oh, 13 comments already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. I don't know if anybody has time. Bernardeski. You know how to update Facebook or no? Uh, sorry. What? I don't know. I just filled this filler. But Ramos, Evra. Mm, that's all right. You can, I can do it after I'm done. I got to show you how to do it. It's easy. But uh, Bonaventura, 4 of 10, AC Milan. Four of ten AC Milan. Anyway, I think that filler is full, guys. Uh, the Eminence one. Would you like help sleeping anything or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I actually give you a bunch of stuff right now. There you go. Let's start with those. Those are one thirties. Yeah, those are one thirties. The fat ones. Uh, Suarez. Do anything good? Uh, Romero, no, we hit a Marcial, which is kind of sucky. Vargas, we did hit a nice, a couple of nice golds, but Stefan Jovetic to 60, but the case hit's probably going to be that Marcial fella. We hit a number to 10 uh, Dempsey and a number to 10 AC Milan guy. Nice. Ozil. Buffon, Bazor, Diego Lugano to 99, Evra, 106 of, oh, did I show that? I was in such a hurry, I don't even know if I showed that. 6 of 99, sorry guys, I'm trying to fly through this so fast. Now. Anyway, 6 of 99. This one here, 106 of 299. Remember to show the numbers. Uh, Spain, double, Keen, Royce, Sanchez, James Rodriguez, 120 of 199. Come on, someone tie for the lead here. Make it exciting. Make Mario sweat it out. 56 of 249. Dani Alves. Pastore, Sigtorsen, and all these and the small ones. Memphis, give me a slice of the pie to 99. Memphis, the pie. Oh, I got to check that number. I keep forgetting. Uh, 36 of 99. 36 of 99. Embolo. How about a little Lionel Messi select few? Tony Cross. Let's grab this one from way back there. Bring it up. Silva. Depay and Blint. Behrami. Darn it, what the heck am I doing? Sorry. Uh, Milic. Corona, 223 of 299. A little Ashmir Begovic, 9 of 10. Good luck on that one. Nice little gold Begovic 
for Bosnia Herzegovina. Gold patch auto. Congrats, Bosnia. Michael Meehan. There you go. A little Bosnian gold patch autograph. Nine of ten. Or eight or nine. Oh, it is a nine. Lewandowski. We've got uh, Diego Rotan, 42 of 60. He's definitely a better color in this case. Uh, Wood. Rodriguez to 60. Milic. Behrami to 249. Corona to 20. 19 to 20. Bon, I don't know what that guy's name was. Kondogbia. Batsuai upside down. Look at that. Doing the backflip. We got to flip him <laughs> over. Now he's uh, right side up. Ramos and Kingsley Kuman. I don't know why they always line up loan out. That's why I like him. Huh? huh? Chelsea always loans them out. I don't know why they do that. Chelsea does? Yeah. yeah. He still belongs to them? He's playing for Valencia now, right? Yeah, I think he still he belongs to them now. He's like been on loan the last like three years. He's pretty so. good. So yeah, he's decent. Yeah. I think Jean he's better than Mutinho. personally. Better than who? Giroud. Uh -huh. you know, start up 44 of 99. Uh, Jao Quino. I mean, uh, what about Iguain now? Yeah. yeah Iguain's solid. Okay. Uh, Iguain's probably the best that we have. Mbolo. Yeah, Iguain's look good. Mario Gomez. Williams. Harnick. Uh, Vidal. Ronaldo, 199 of 249. Uh, there's Rooney. Sturridge to 60. Rashford. Luis Suarez to 199. Silva, uh, Aguero to 299, uh, 221 of 299. Sorry, I'm going fast. I am looking at these numbers, but that one was 108 of 199. This one is 221 of 299. I'll go back a little bit. And we can do these in regular small yeah, sleeves. Yeah. Ramsey, O'Block, uh, double team for Dortmund, Sterling, how about to 75, Keane, 4 of 75, Robbie Keane, how about Pastore, 12 of 20, there's Fabregas, gold, 35 of 125, Morata, Tomas Müller, 133 of 199, Rashford, Ogozan Oziakup, 33 of 60, here you go Oziakup. Morata, uh, Douglas Costa, 15 of 49. Yeah, can you give these back to me once we're done? Actually, you know what? These you can just, you have to top load them also. Okay, we'll do. All right, yeah, these need to be top loaded and sleeved. Okay, got it. 
Yeah, if you need more of these, you probably need to go yeah, get more of these. Yeah. Uh, Harry Kane and Cahill. I don't know if I have more of those. You might have to canoe. Okay. Yeah, you might have to go to the garage for that. Um, Fabianski, Denrell. There might be another one in the office on the floor. Oh. It's just the small, you know, the heavier, thinner one, not the thicker, you know, not the 130s, just the regular ones. Okay. Uh, I don't know what do you guys think. I think we're gonna do eminence after this, and then we've got black gold and select as well to break. We got a lot of stuff to break tonight. Yeah, tonight we're gonna do at least six cases. So let's see. We did these three, and then we gotta do black gold and select and eminence as well. Guys, unfortunately, this stuff is not going to ship until I get back. Uh, I'm flying out Sunday, so unfortunately, I can't get this stuff out tomorrow. So it's going to wait till. How could it sound? Actually, it's going to be Huh? These are cool? These are these two Let me see. Those are hundreds, oh, yeah. These, are, hundreds, these yeah. are not for those. Yeah, oh, those yeah. are way yeah. Just regular top loaders, just yeah. like they're 35s. Uh 196 of 299. Quadrado. Lewandowski, uh, Suarez, how about James Rodriguez, Neymar, Mateo Darmian, Fabianski, nice! Nice, nice, nice for Italia, 17 of 25. Mr. Filippo Inzaghi, a little bit off the sticker there, still pretty darn sick. Congrats, congrats, Italy. That one actually deserves a mag if I have one around here. Zagat, 17 of 25. Josh La Roca. There you go, Josh. Congrats, man. Yeah, he's a tough one to hit, Nzagi, in this one. 17 of 25. Filippo Nzagi. Huh? Let me see. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Those are the ones. Yeah, there's only two sizes. I mean, all this, the fat ones and the thin ones, skinny ones. Uh, Zeko, Jose Luis Gaia, 33 of 99. Uh, 261 of 299. Lavetsi, Payet, Obamiang. Heavy. Mm -hmm. I think I got another bag in here. Yeah, that one's heavy. Uh, 
9 of 199, Millich. To 75, Felipe Melo, 35 of 75. Mueller, Eden Azard, Fimagasen, uh, Corona, Buffon, Yarmolenko, 172 of 249. All right, last two boxes, guys. Good luck, good luck. Especially if you have not yet hit. Yarmolenko. How about Luka Modric? My name is Luka Kalinic. Angolo Kante, 103 of 125. 99, starting to look good. Isco. Chiellini, 53 of 149, Dani Alves, Blut, Mexico, 31 of 199. Is that the 15? Did I? No, that's the 25. What are we talking about? Oh, the Messi is numbered to 15. Yeah, uh, the Messi is numbered to 15. You're correct. Uh, Griezmann, Gomes, Krzysztof, or sorry, not Krzysztof, Blaszczykowski. Supa in the house. What's up? Dele Ali. Fellaini. We got an auto coming up in a second. There's Ben Davies. There's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ooh, nice little Iker Casillas coming on. How about Iker Casillas for España? 21 of 40. I got all these top loaded. 21 of 40. Nice. Right, can you sleeve these then? Yeah. Skin. Yeah, that was a nice hit. All right, we got uh, Felipe Melo for Inter. Capusca. Kaputska again. Neuer. Select few. Bail. James Rodriguez. Goretzka. Bail. Veron nineteen of two ninety nine. Mr. Buffon. Right, almost ten o'clock here. Uh, Morata. To 199, 81 of 199. Dempsey, Bonucci, Javier Mascherano, 109 of 110. Javier Mascherano for Barca, Barcelona autograph. Sanchez, we've got Godan. Five of twenty. Go down. 
These are all good. So that, all right, cool. Um, even though you can sleeve these as well. Those are thin? Yep, those are the thin ones. Grisma. Verati just sleeves for those. So. Zudzak. Get a couple things sleeved up here, guys. We'll do a recap and then I shall move on to our next break. Congratulations again to the Netherlands. Netherlands is our winner. Mario Stamper, you get yourself the Cristiano Ronaldo jersey. Juve. That's a pretty sweet giveaway. Yep, that is a sweet jersey. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Harry. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Eric. Uh, all right, let's get this recap uh, set up here. Let's go there. It goes there. Let's go over here. Let's make sure with these I didn't leave. Uh, that one needs to be cut wood. Everything else no, was all good. These are all good. That one there has to be top part of these. I'm going to do a recap here, guys, and uh, then. I am going to check on Eminence. I believe Eminence is full. All right, recap time, guys. Recap time. Damn it. Too many of these that I left over here. All right, here we go. We've got, uh, let's do these first. Um, double team Dortmund, England. Uh, Italy, Darmian. We've got Real Madrid. That was uh, Isco. Felipe Melo for Inter. Brazil, Alves. Uh, Marian Fellaini. So I had for the USA, Clint Dempsey. Uh, Verratti, PSG. Mats Hummels, we've got uh, Joe Hart, Luis Suarez, James Rodriguez, Italy double, and uh, there is England. That's really nice, Tommy. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it, Tommy. Yeah, he's a lot bigger than he used to be, Alex. <laughs> How's your boy doing, Tommy, by the way? Harry Kane, he's doing well. To 199, there was Fabianski. Lugano to 99. To 75, Van Persie. Uh, to 60, James Rodriguez. We've got to 75, uh, Felipe Melo. Uploading these as we go to 199, Mr. Mueller, and then to 60, we've got Daniel Sturridge. So that goes there. These go there. Then we got these thingies here. Uh, Germany, Mueller, National Pride, Payette. We've got Vidal. 
Neymar for Barca, Gomez, Germany, Neuer, Germany, Croatia, Modric, Eden Hazard, and James Rodriguez. Oh, nice. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Glad he's doing better. Uh, and then we've got... Did we do these already? Where are the numbered cards? Oh, no, we didn't show these yet. All right, let's do these numbered cards. To 60, Roland. To 75, Otamendi. To 75, Royce. To 60, Sanchez. To 75, Keen. To 49, uh, Costa. Then we got all these numbered to 30. We've got Mueller. Donnarumma, Berkey, Zeko, and uh, Manzukic. Number to 20, we've got Pastore and Corona. We missed uh, one number to 99, that was Jose Luis Gaia. To 20, we've got Godin. To 10, we've got Bonaventura. Uh, and then to 10, we've got Dempsey, 5 of 10 gold. To 30, Daniel Sturridge and Robin Van Persie. Yeah, we've definitely uh, increased our production. I couldn't, because Alex does all the sorting now. So, you know, I could maybe break 20 cases a week before a mat. I mean, I couldn't even do that. 15, 20 cases, I was maxed out. I can't out. imagine how you could even do that. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. It's because it, for every hour that I was on, I need to have an hour off. Yeah. You know, because like you do 20 cases, then you got to yeah, sort so for three days. days. Yeah, exactly. So, especially on like release weeks. Yeah. Uh, Depay, <laughs> Moutinho, these are the autos. Uh, Oziakup to 60. Uh, emerging star for France, Kurt Zuma. Emerging star USA, Nagbe. Then we had Mascherano for Barca. These are our kids. It's, we had uh, Jovetic for Inter to 60. To 75, Ka Karpin for Russia. Then we had <clears throat> Iker Casillas to 40 for Spain. Our case hit was Martial. That was number to 60. And uh, Begovic, 9 of 10 for Bosnia. Then our big hit for this case, though, was Filippo Inzaghi tie dye, 17 of 25. Our big hits were this one, and in the first case, we hit Lionel Messi. In the second case, we hit uh, Pulisic. Uh, six or eight? Six of 15. Sick one there. I can't believe his base is numbered to 15. It's kind of crazy. Super short print on that. And of course, our big winner was Memphis Depay. I think it was like in our third box out. Mm -hmm. No drama this time. 99 of 299 right off the bat. Scored in like the third minute. And held up. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. That does it for select. Now I am contemplating uh, whether to do eminence. You know what, guys? I am going to need to go over there and do eminence because I think... Uh, I need to print out the list and check payments. So let's do that because uh, it's going to take, uh, I'm going to need about 25, 30 minutes to check payments and log back on and break eminence. And then we'll do black gold and select as well. So why don't we do that? Because I have to move this and I've got a bunch of logistical stuff I need to do. And uh, so I really appreciate it. I'll be right back, guys. I will yeah. log on back on in about, I mean, I'll log on early and while I'm checking payments. So I just need about 15, 20 minutes to uh, grab like a little tiny bite and uh, get ready for eminence. Thanks, All right, guys. guys.
Thank you. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, give me about 20 minutes. I'll be back on from our regular room. All right. Thanks, guys.